Welcome to day 31. So we're moving into the ICND2 now. If you're taking the one exam route, what you're going to need to do, because I've split this program into ICND1 and ICND2, is as you're going through the second part, so days 31 to 60, uh, keep reviewing ICND1 as well, otherwise you're going to become rusty. Now if you're taking the two exam routes, then focus mainly on the on what I'm telling you. But also bear in mind, um, I recently retook the CCNA myself to make sure my materials were accurate. And um, I found some ICND1 subjects were also put in the ICND2, even though they're not in the syllabus. Um, I'm just trying to think what it is off the top of my head. Uh, I think switch security could have been in there and uh, one other subject. So just bear that in mind, just to do review the other topics um, also. So today's task, we're looking at the ICND2 cram, please read, spanning tree, the bridge ID, what it is, um, and wh how, where it comes from, the root bridge election process, port cost and priority, really important for the exam, for theory and labs, what designated ports are, enhancements to STP, port fast, etc., which will be covered in your guide, no doubt, labbing it all up and then also troubleshooting all of it. Here's the spanning tree chapter from my uh, 60 day study guide. So looking at why we need STP, how loops are created on networks, configuration BPDUs. So the BPDU exchange process, we can see the root bridge, root ports and designated ports. Different spanning tree port states, which you'll need to know for the exam, blocking, listening, learning, forwarding, disabled. Spanning tree root bridge election, you need to know, you, you could well have a di diagram in, in, in the um, exam that you need to look at and uh, answer a question as to which is gonna be the designated port, the root bridge, root ports. So make sure you understand that. How to influence which bridge is the root bridge with iOS configuration commands, there's two ways to do it. Already mentioned designated ports uh, and spanning tree enhancements, port fast, BPDU guard, loop guard, BPDU filter, uplink fast, root guard, all these things you need to know about now, unfortunately, uh, and also troubleshooting STP. And then obviously, uh, whichever book you're reading, make sure you do some questions and then you should be doing a lab on um, spanning tree root bridge uh, selection. That's all for today. I will see you tomorrow.